Spoiler information for this video will be some minor gameplay and uh, lots of HUD and just talking about mechanics. There will be no story spoilers within this video. Hello, welcome to another video, and today I want you to break down how crits work and how critical hit chance works and all of that. Now, critical hit damage is a different topic and how that breaks down I haven't quite understood yet, but crit chance, I think I've got. So, of course, there is any anything that you see in this video is subject to change. It is from an early alpha preview build, um, early preview build of the game that Gearbox was very kind to uh, let me be able to play to make these kind of videos. Uh, so I thought I'd immediately dive down and see how it worked. Um, and this one's on crit. So this video is going to be broken down into two parts. One, uh, talking about how uh, crit chance works and just um, how crits in general work compared to Borderlands 3. And the second part will be breaking down the crit chance formula and um, how it works out and how you can boost your crit chance. So, uh, going back to Borderlands 3, there was uh, an action skill called Fade Away. Uh, which gave you automatic crits. These were fake crits. So if you shot somebody in the body, you wouldn't get crit damage bonuses. It would still light up and say crit, and you would get the post ad fade crit bonus, but it wasn't a real crit. However, in this game, if that happens, there is an action skill that gives you auto crits. Uh, these are real crits. Uh, if you roll, look into a random critical hit, that is a real crit. It gets all your crit damage bonuses, and there is no difference between shooting somebody in the body and shooting somebody in the head. Uh, if you shoot somebody in the head, it's guaranteed to be a crit, so yay. And if you shoot somebody in the body, it runs through the percentage chart. So it's like constant Mega Ball. See it like that. Uh, for spells and melee and everything else, they physically cannot shoot something in the head. You have to roll the percentage charts. Uh, so those ones are, if we see here, base crit, uh, base. So that's just the flat out base that isn't reference to anything that's just what it is uh, but everything that can crit are abilities these are like action skills and things uh, companions guns melee attacks spells and status effects yes dots can crit now for our first time ever actually so all these base five percent now that number is actually a little bit wrong uh the Stem amount of power there that you see just above should be affecting that along the class feet. Uh, this this readout is very slow to update. However, when I put points into dexterity, it should all update. And after just playing for a while, it just updates slowly. Uh, it's not very quick and clean. So as I say, the HUD is a work in progress. So first, if I look at the class feet of Stem Mancer here. So I'm playing Stem Mancer, and we've got an, an increased critical hit chance of 30%. And then if I look at my stabber matter power, plus 8.7%, that increases my critical hit chance by a further 8.7%. And say so I will have a, a breakdown on how that works. If we look at our inventory, guns are guns, there's no list of critical hit chance there, so we'll have to go with the base 5%. Melee weapons, though, I'm going to use the 8% of the Great Axe here. So 8% of the Great Axe of the Butcher, and then 15% from this Sunder spell. Uh, our 8.7% stab matter power is coming from our armor piece, and uh, we're getting a bit of extra melee crit chance from this ring. These rings get a bit crazier, they, 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 I say crazier. Uh, the bonuses are much, much smaller, which I'm a big fan of, but that's not relevant to the video. This one's got melee crit chance. You can get gun crit chance, spell crit chance, ability crit chance, but this one's melee, and it's only 1.3%. Very early game, bonus will be small. So, with this, we should be able to work out where this should be. Um, I, I've kind of gathered. Uh, there's also Dexterity. Hero points, these increase your crit chance by 2% per point. In a linear fashion. Okay, so, in terms of the melee chance formula, I'm just going to throw it up here. Uh, it works out from... I, I math it out and it works out in these situations. I'm not sure, maybe I make a mistake and it just so happens that it worked for this one. Um... Of course, we could have another look at launch, but uh, this has worked for me with the uh, with this preview build demo, and that is base crit plus the item crit. So that's going to be a five percent plus you like eight percent from this mellow weapon. Uh, that uh, added together, multiplied by one plus class feet plus gear passes plus dexterity, and your class feet you can. Uh, further work out where it's just the class V, which is 30%, plus your stab amounts of power, which for me currently is 8.7%. Uh, 
Uh, so that is the, uh, the the crit chance formula there, as uh, I have worked it out. Um, so let's plug in some numbers and we'll see how this updates. So if I go to uh, 5 dexterity, 10% crit chance, we can see these numbers hopefully Somewhere. update. And there we go, they did, fantastic. So our baker crit chance is just 5%, that just gives us a reference. Everything is bumped up to 7.1%, uh, however, melee to 18.8, and spell to uh, 28.5. And we can work that out because 30%, or 8.7% of 30% added together, um, of 5% is about 1.6%, so that takes us to about 6.6%. And then we've got our 10% crit chance from dexterity, so 10% of 5 is 0.5, so that takes us from 6.6 .6 to 7.1. So that works out for all of the others. Now, if we look at our melee, our base crit is 5, our item crit is, third, is 8, uh, so that takes us to 13. And then we times that by 1 plus our class feat times uh, Sabermancer plus gear passive plus dexterity. That works out to about 18.7 something percent. Uh, rounding, there's going to be decimals and stuff um, that we don't quite see with this readout. We only have one decimal place, but it, it's close enough. And then same goes for spell. Uh, we don't have the 1.3 from the gear passives, but uh, we have 15% base spell crit. So that's up to 28 uh, so yeah, that is the spell crit formula. That's just kind of how crit works. Um, these numbers can get pretty high. I had a spell which had 35% crit, and this listed number got to like into the 70s, and this is a level 7 character, uh, level, sorry, 12. Why did I say 7? Uh, level 12, 13 character at the time. So this spell was basically critting the majority of the time, and I'm sure you can get that close to 100% crit chance, uh, which is very, very fun. Which also means you wouldn't have to run the, um, from the Shadows action skill, which is auto crits. I say these are real crits, they're not fake crits like Borderlands 3, they're real. They'll get crit damage bonuses. Um, so yeah, how you build your Stabbermancer will be interesting, whether you just go crit chance and then you run Ghost Blade, or you just ignore crit chance and just go full strength. And uh, run from the Shadows. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, that's crit. That's how it works. Uh, the damage formula, I might have a little video on that. As I say, the crit damage formula is a bit scary. I haven't quite worked that one out yet, but uh, I think I got crit chance down. So thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, be sure to sub if you want more in-depth videos like this. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time. Have a wonderful rest of the evening. Stay safe, stay awesome. I'll see you around. Bye-bye.